today i'll explain the arc elasticity of demand we have had a look earlier on the point elasticity of demand which is nothing but the price elasticity of demand calculated at a specific point on the demand curve as we have seen it is the ratio of the percentage change in quantity demanded of a good to the percentage change in its price calculated at a specific point on the demand curve the arc elasticity of demand just like the price elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded to price changes the main difference is that the arc elasticity is based on changes in quantity demanded and price between two points on the demand curve arc elasticity is measured over a range it is the elasticity of one variable with respect to another between two given points it is the ratio of the percentage change of one of the variables between the two points to the percentage change of the other variable i'll explain this in detail as we can see in the figure the initial level of price and quantity demanded was at a where price was rupees 6 and quantity demanded was 4 units after the price falls to 4 the quantity demanded expands to 8 units so the demand curve moves from point a to point b here we are calculating elasticity between the two points a and b since the elasticity is measured between two points we use arc elasticity of demand now let's move on to the calculation part and the formula of arc elasticity of demand it is ed is equal to delta q by delta p into p1 by p2 the whole divided by 2 divided by q1 plus q2 the whole divided by 2 here delta q and delta p represents change in price and quantity respectively p1 plus p2 for the whole divided by 2 represents midpoint of prices and q1 plus q2 the whole divided by 2 represents the midpoint of quantity respectively arc elasticity calculations give the elasticity using the midpoint between two points when we simplify the equation we get delta q by delta p into p1 plus p2 divided by q1 plus q2 here what we did was we cancelled off the two now let's move on to the calculation of elasticity the formula for calculating arc elasticity as mentioned earlier is ed is equal to delta q by delta p into p1 plus p2 the whole divided by 2 divided by q1 plus q2 the whole divided by 2 when we simplified we got delta q by delta p into p1 plus p2 divided by q1 plus q2 so applying the same to calculate arc elasticity between the points a and b we calculate delta q and delta p first delta q or change in q is 4 minus 8 that is minus 4 or delta p or change in p is 6 minus 4 that is 2 now we need to calculate p1 plus p2 to apply the formula for p1 plus p2 we add the two prices 6 plus 4 which is 10 and for q1 plus q2 we add the two quantities 4 plus 8 that is 12 hence applying the formula it will be delta q by delta p that is minus 4 by 2 into p1 plus p2 divided by q1 plus q2 that is 10 by 12 simplifying we get minus 5 by 3 or minus 1.6 this implies that the demand curve is elastic as ep is greater than 1 as explained above while arc elasticity is a concept based on finite changes in quantity demanded and price between two points on the demand curve point elasticity is a concept based on the infinite small changes in quantity demanded and price from the point on the demand curve and that is why it is called point elasticity so point elasticity is the price elasticity of demand at a specific point on the demand curve instead of over a range of it while arc elasticity measures it over a range on the demand curve and point elasticity is a limiting case of arc elasticity that is because 
when changes in price and consequently changes in quantity demanded are too small, the arc converges to a point. I hope this concept is clear. Thank you.